one here on British Airways um, Business International. Uh, it just came from the Admirals Club, the flagship one, which is a little nicer. It's almost almost like the Polaris United Lounge, but maybe not quite as nice, but it's kind of exclusive. Um, here is my little cabin thing. I can shut that door if I want to, so that's nice and private. Um, let's see what I have. I've got the entertainment area down here. Um, the footwell seems bigger than a lot of the other airlines. Um, it was bigger than Air France, I remember that when I took that in April. And this is a storage area. This is a storage area, and so is this, which I think it has more storage than quite a few of the other airlines. And I do have a remote control in here for the entertainment. And I also have um, the seat controller where I can move back and it does go flat like a bed and um, the lights coming in here oops okay so I would say the room is as big as Polaris bigger than Air France um, so I think it's pretty nice and here is the menu I haven't ordered yet. So some of the cocktails, soft drinks, and then we have the main course. Oh yes, I'll have some champagne. Thank you. The flight attendant just came around and gave me a glass of champagne. So here is the menu. I will choose from. Probably going to choose the lamb of all the choices here and maybe the toffee tart for dessert. And then they are going to serve breakfast too. Let me see if you can see that. Okay. So, so far, um, the staff seems to be very nice. Um, I've always had kind of negative experiences with. British Airways. Um, they, I'm trying to get this clearer. Um, they used to have the front seat, back seat facing both ways, and I could not stand that. And I've always um, had flights delayed or canceled. So maybe this will be a nice, enjoyable experience, um, unlike the others I've had. But so far, I'm impressed with the um, cabin. Oops. for you to see.